Hi, good day everyone. This video is about the remainder theorem. Again, according to the definition of remainder theorem, if a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus c, then the remainder is given as r is equals to p sub c. Okay, so let's try to solve some problem that will illustrate this given theorem. Okay, let's say we are asked to solve this given problem. Okay. We have find the remainder when p of x is equals to x cubed plus 5x plus minus 7 is divided by x minus 1. Again, in terms of remainder, actually we are allowed to um, solve this one with the use of long division or synthetic division. Right? So our last number will serve as our remainder. Now, let's try to double check first with the use of synthetic division and later let's use the concept of remainder theorem. Okay, so since we have this p of x as x cubed plus 5x minus 7, if you want to use synthetic division to answer this given problem, so we have this step number one, we need to make sure that our given problem or, um, or dividend is expressed into its standard form. So according to our problem, it is actually expressed into its standard form. So let's proceed to step number two, that is um, extra their numerical coefficient. Now, if you want to list down their numerical coefficient, actually, we have 1 for x cubed. And since we have this missing term, right? So we have this missing term as x squared. So we need to assign 0 for that given value. And we have 5 for the linear term. And we have negative 7 for the constant number. Right? So let's construct a bar or line. And let's identify what will be the value of our um, remainder or of our divisor, by the way. So again, since we have this um, x minus 1 as our original divisor for this given problem, let's identify what will be the value of c if we have x minus c as x minus 1. So again, we have this technique to simply change the sign. Therefore, the value of c for this given expression, we have positive 1. Okay, so let's use positive 1 as our divisor and let's proceed to the procedures, okay? Um, let's solve this given problem. Again, same procedure for synthetic, just bring down the first number. So when we have 1 and multiply it to our divisor, which is 1. So 1 times 1, that is equals to 1. And add. So it will give us 0 plus 1. The answer is 1. Okay? Next, so if that is 1, just multiply it again to our original divisor. So we have 1 times 1 again, that is equals to 1. And add the given values. So we have 5 plus 1, it will give us 6. Okay, and multiply that 6 again to our divisor, which is 1. So 6 times 1, it will give us 6. And add our values. So we have negative 7 plus 6, the answer is negative 1. So obviously, for this given problem with the use of synthetic division, the value of our remainder for this given um, problem is negative 1. So we have r as negative 1. Right? Now, this time, dear students, let's try to double check. Okay? What if we want to use the concept of remainder theorem to answer the same problem? Okay? So according to our remainder theorem, if the polynomial is divided by x minus c, so we have this x minus c okay, as x minus 1, then the remainder is given as r is equals to p sub c or p of c. That means we need to identify the value of c and proceed to evaluation. So again, if you want to rewrite our given problem, so we have p of x is equals to x cubed plus 5x minus 7. since we want to divide this expression to x minus 1. So automatically, let's identify first what will be the value of c if we have x minus 1. So obviously, the value of c here is, again, the technique is just replace the indicated sign. So we have negative 1, so we will use positive 1. Now, if c is equals to 1, what will happen? So just unplug um, in the value of 1 to our original function. So it will give us p sub 1 equals to 1 cube 
right? So just replace the values of x as 1. So we have plus 5 times 1 minus 7. And simplify this given expression. Right? So therefore, it will give us um, 1 cube is equal to 1 plus 5 times 1, that is 5, minus 7. And we have 1 plus 5, that is 6, minus 7. <clears throat> so the answer for this given problem is negative 1. Now, <clears throat> that's the concept of this um, remainder theorem. So we have this process okay, of evaluating function or polynomial. We have negative 1. And with the use of synthetic division, we also have negative 1. So that is actually um, the concept. Right? So let's try to solve another set of problems. Let's say we are asked to um, identify the remainder. Okay, for problem number 2, let's say we are asked to identify the remainder if 3x cubed, let's say we have 3x cubed plus 4x squared um, minus 5x plus 6 is divided to x um, plus 4. Okay, let's try to divide this to x plus 4. Alright, so same procedure dear students. So since we want to identify um, the value of our remainder with the use of remainder theorem. So if we have this given function, we have p of x as 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x plus 6. Okay, so just identify what will be the value of c. So since we have this x plus 4 as our divisor, let's extract the value of c. So obviously, if we have x plus 4, it will give us negative 4. Okay, so let's substitute the value of negative 4 as the value of x, okay, inside this given polynomial expression or function. So it will give us p of negative 4, therefore that is 3 times negative 4, right, so that is in cube plus 4 times another x which is negative 4 squared minus 5 times another value of x which is negative 4 again and plus 6 right so let's simplify this given expression now um, let's simplify our given exponent okay so we have negative 4 cubed so this is actually equals to negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 right so negative 4 times negative 4 that is positive 16 and positive 16 times negative 4 that is actually equals to negative 64 so it will give us 3 times negative 64 next that is plus 4 and let's simplify this negative 4 squared so negative 4 times negative 4 that is actually equals to 16 so we have positive 16 right next let's multiply this given expression or numbers we have negative 5 times negative 4 it will give us positive 20 and copy the remaining value all right so let's simplify this given expression um let's multiply 3 to 64 okay so we have 3 times negative 64 that is actually equals to negative um, 192 right so we have negative 192 next is let's multiply this 4 times 16 that is positive 64 and then we have this constant or last number which is 20 plus 6 that is 26 and combine like terms okay so simplify this one therefore it will give us 192 okay plus 64 so that is negative 128 plus 26 so if you want to simplify this therefore the remainder okay of this given problem if you want to divide this polynomial to x plus 4 the answer is equals to negative 1 to 8 plus 26 or simply negative 102 and that is our final answer okay again so we we solve or identify um, the remainder okay of this given problem with use of remainder theorem right so let's let's try to solve this given problem so example number three 
let's say we want to um, determine the remainder if we divide let's say we have x cubed plus 3x squared plus x plus 3 okay if we divide this by let's say x minus 2 right so I encourage your students to pause this video and try to answer this given problem on your own alright so let's double check your answer again same procedure dear students since we have this given problem that means we have p of x is equals to x cubed plus 3x squared plus x plus 3 right so let's apply the concept of um, remainder theorem to answer this given problem and we have this x minus 2 therefore the value of c is equals to positive 2 okay so we have negative um, operation here so let's plug in positive 2 as the value of our x therefore it will give us p so positive 2 and that is equals to x or 2 that is cubed plus 3 times x again that x is 2 and that is in squared plus another value of x which is 2 and copy the remaining plus 3 right so let's simplify and let's um, double check our answer so we have 2 cubed so that is 2 times 2 that is 4 times 2 again that is equals to 8 so it will give us 8 next is let's simplify this 2 squared okay it will give us plus 3 times 2 squared is actually equals to 4 okay next um let's combine these terms 2 plus 3 that is actually equals to 5 so we have plus 5 okay so let's um simplify this again we are using the concept of um remainder theorem so it will give us 8 and 3 times 4 so let's multiply this that is actually equals to 12 so we have plus 12 plus 5 okay and simplify this x plus um, or 8 plus 12 that is 20 and 20 plus 5 is actually equals to 25 therefore the value of our remainder for this given problem is 25 alright so that's the entire concept so actually we are allowed to solve for the remainder of a given polynomial expression divided by um, x minus c with the use of remainder theorem. So thank you so much and God bless.